So I am back with another Elden Ring video and you guys are probably watching this wondering why is your dude standing there in his man thong? Well that's because of these people. Check this out. Yes, my character, my player, just turned into a dragon. Yes, you heard that right. And today guys, I will explain everything you need to know about doing this for yourself. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so in this video guys, I'm going to showcase to you how you can get this, well, this Priestess Heart, which is a thing you can use as often as you like. Um, it does some pretty wild things too, I'm not going to lie. But to even get started with this thing, to even use it guys, you need to be naked. You need to be naked, you can't wear armor and use this. But you can see what it does there, it turns the human frame into an ancient dragon and boosts dragon cult incantations. So I know there's people out there that are really into this. The stone heart of a dragon communion priestess. Use well this robe to turn one's human flesh into an ancient dragon. Pretty cool people, pretty cool, but it not only comes with this, there's multiple rewards along the way of getting this actual, this uh, this priestess's heart, which allows you to turn into a dragon and wear that dragon armor. There's also weapons that you get like this one here, the flower stone gravel or gravel, gavel, gavel. Okay, so this is pretty unique. I mean, it's not my kind of weapon. But hey, there's many, many other things you get along the way of this and everything will be time stamped down below. But if you guys want to turn into a dragon and get the benefits of it, reap the benefits of that. I also must mention as well, the only way to get this off, uh, to go back to your normal armor and so forth, is to die in game. So yeah, keep that in mind too. So this ends and you are rewarded this for basically taking out Bale. Bale is one of the toughest bosses I have played in Elden Ring. I have fought in Elden Ring, but I will bring you guys a guide on how you can defeat him. I actually had to go to the other end of the scale in regards to creating a build just for this dude. Nothing what I'm used to using. It goes completely against my entire playthrough and what I've been doing, slashing with those katanas. I had to go mage guys, but I'll basically guide you through exactly what I did, the build I used when we get to that point of the quest line. Okay, so this all starts from the castle front grace point. You need to go and meet and find Igon. So follow the path I take on screen now towards this pillar path grace. Okay, so once you get to this grace and this fork in the road, you should hear the screams of Igon. Here guys go up to the guy lying on the floor, or on the floor, killed up, and just clear out his dialogue. Then guys, what you do from this point is push on as I do on screen. Now, here if you haven't already, you will be invaded by the ancient dragon man. You need to take him out to progress. So 
so once you've taken this guy out, you can then progress onto the dragon pit, which you'll see me do on screen now. So once you are at this pit guys, you need to follow the path I take on screen to the very bottom of this pit. Here you will fight the ancient dragon man yet again. Now upon you defeating him, you get the first of some juicy rewards you will get today. The dragon hunter's great katana. This one, you want to keep, obviously. So once you've taken out the ancient dragon man, push forward to the next grace point of the dragon pit terminus. Okay, so pushing on guys, you'll come to the foot of Jagged Peak. And from here guys, we wanna make our way to that new Dragon Communion. So follow us, I'll go on screen now. So once you are here guys, obviously interact with that grace point. This is the altar of the Dragon Communion Grace. And once you've done this, you then want to speak to that NPC standing nearby. This starts the quest line by the way. So make sure you clear out this NPC's uh, dialogue, making sure you select the option when it becomes available to devour Draconic Essence. Doing this will give you the Ancient Dragon Blessing upon you clearing out her dialogue. So yeah guys, that's what you need to do. Now, on you actually clearing out her dialogue, speak to her again and ask her about Bayor. What is 
This, by the way, is the main boss of this quest. So do what you gotta do, guys, and clear out this dialogue. So from here, guys, follow the path I take on screen now. It's a short ride, but just do as you gotta do, because we are pushing on to our first dragon fight. Okay, so you'll come to this point, people, where there are two dragons fighting each other. Here, you only have to take out the named one with health bar at the bottom. The other one hasn't got much health. I tested this by killing the named one first, and I could still progress on with the quest. So you only have to kill one, but killing both, you may as well while you are here. Now, upon you doing this, you will hear Igon again in the background laughing. Here you can locate him as I do on screen now and then just speak to him. <sighs> Upon you speaking to him and clearing out his dialogue, he gives you his own finger called the field finger, which is used to summon that dragon, Baal. Remember this spot though and mark it on your map as you do when you return here after. So with this item in hand, follow the path I take on screen now to where this dragon boss is summoned, where Bale is summoned.
Okay, so once you are here, guys, you are at this boss fight. Now, I will say straight off the bat, this is a pretty challenging fight. I mean, you'll see me struggle in the background. I mean, I'm not going to tell you guys how many times this guy killed me before I had to switch up my build, which we'll talk about now. So this is what I used and how I did it. So the build I used to defeat Bale is absolutely on the other side of the scale in regards to how I normally play. I mean, me trying to use my katana just was not working as I just couldn't judge. This dragon, it's just his moves, they just seem, it seems like it's, I don't know, it ain't bugged, but it's just so hard to judge his attacks because his whole body's moving, you don't know whether it's his arms, his tail, his legs, his fire from his mouth, that's going to get you. So being right in the fight to try and actually get him was so difficult and I died like 15 times in a row. So I decided to skip to uh, the build that I'm using and you'll see this on the screen now. So I just went with a staff, the only staff I ever leveled up in the past, which was this one right here, the Lucid's Glintstone staff. This is a level 10. By the way, I also use the God Slayer seal, but I actually use this for my Mimic tier, not for myself. Um, Mimic tier is an absolute must <laughs> within this DLC, people. This thing has saved me so much, it's unbelievable. In regards to armor, I just use something that is just gonna help with my damage negation. And to be honest, I put this on, which I don't even think made any kind of difference whatsoever. In regards to the talismans, I use the magic scorpion charm. This raises a magic attack, but lowers, 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 lowers damage negation. I use the radagon icon, short and sparse casting time. And I also use the flame drake talisman plus one. Greatly boosts fire damage negation. This dragon boosts fire all over your ass. And I also use the uh, tree's favor plus one. Raises maximum HP, stamina, and equip load, which I mean, you could probably switch this one out. In regards to my flask, I use the magic shrouding crack tier, temporary boost magic attacks. And I also use the one there that's temporary boost or damage negation. Um, so, yeah, pretty cool. Now, what I did was, and you'll see this on screen now. I come into this fight and I tried my hardest uh, to basically summon my Mimic and also summon in Igon 2. I mean, it's so difficult because as soon as you start this fight, this dragon Bale is on your ass. I mean, it just doesn't give you any time. So I'm just, well, whatever I could do first. It's normally my Mimic I try to get in first. But yes, yeah, so I use my Mimic, try and use that as a distraction to then go and get and summon in Igon which normally doesn't work, but this time it did. And then what I was doing, guys, with the spell I was using, I was spamming out uh, the Shard Spirals, which is like a low FP cost spell, which can get real early game, I believe. I mean, what I was trying to do was I was trying to get underneath his belly, aiming at his face, obviously. It's the only part of his body I believe you can lock onto. And then just spamming it. So I was trying to get by his back leg and just spamming out this, uh, this spell. That's what I was doing. And I couldn't believe how quick it was making his health come down. Like I said, I ain't built to be a sorcerer. I ain't built to be a mage. I mean, I'm just built to slash things up with my katana. Now, the, what I said about the um, incantation and why I was using that seal was because of this right here. Uh, the Lord's Heal massively heals HP for self and nearby allies. I put this on because of my mimic. That's the only reason I put this on. That's the only reason this seal was here. Is for my mimic i didn't use it you don't get a chance to use it but if my mimic can stay alive for longer that's my aim that was my goal so that's why i put this on but yeah it's literally guys just about spamming this getting by his back leg uh, aiming at his chest i mean his hitbox is pretty big so spamming this out and hitting me multiple times is great i mean you could probably even try a talisman that will in regards to successive hits raise power maybe i mean there's a couple here that may work in that regard um but we'll see i don't know guys i really don't know i just went with what i went with after trying about like 20 times to fight this guy this is what i had to do so yeah okay so with that insane fight out of the way collect those rewards and make your way back down to where you last spoke to igon where you should have marked on that map Here, waiting for you will be his barbarian, his amazing great bow, and his armor. 
Now his battle bearing can be used at the round table for you to purchase ammunition for that bow he left you. Now from here guys you obviously want to head back to that dragon communion grace where we spoke to that NPC. Now here you can offer the heart of Bale if you want to choose from a couple of items there. But what you'll also notice is where that NPC was will be the priestess heart and that flower stone gavel weapon. So yes guys that's how you get this and it really is as simple as that. And there you have it that's how you become a dragon and wear that dragon armor pretty cool and on that note guys the end of the video has arrived if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more out of the ring be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one